Okay, with no further ado, let's get into it. Hard boiled issue number one. I'm gonna do a real smooth flip through. The thing I love about this book is that the main character, you can tell, was kind of styled off of a couple of actors. The main one I would say would be maybe Bruce Willis because of what he did with Die Hard. I mean, gosh, look at the detail. Geoff is one of those artists, I swear. He just he just adds tidbits to so many little things. And, and it's like looking at a coloring book that's fully covered. Fully colored, you know? It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. You can't believe he took time and drew every last one of these, like, those bricks coming out of there. It's, it's just, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible. This is obviously a very adult title, like everything cyberpunk. And everything has its place. I'm a big advocate for it. The kids have theirs, adults have theirs. And for this type of entertainment that's over the top like this, hey, it's grown folks biz, period. This book won all types of awards when it came out. Let's see, what year was that? This was, oh my gosh, in September 1990. Hey, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to Hardboil. Came out back in September 1990. Look at that, y'all. Amazing. So a lot like a great many cyberpunk concepts following the absolute popularity of Blade Runner, this book is no less in that vibe with the fact that the main character is kind of, he's basically a bounty hunter, you know, but they call him a tax collector and he goes to all these odd places collect taxes from folks in this really retro future. I say retro in the sense that everything has this 1950s style, the buildings, the cars, which is so damn cool, mixed with super high-tech futuristic stuff. It's like the best of what was old meets the coolest stuff of what could be. And of course, some of it is horrific, but nonetheless, for comic books and movies and things of this sort, it's just plain cool. And with Geoff Darrow, it's always not just cool, but quite odd. He goes in big time, obviously, right? All of that was going on with him being put on display in some weird club. Like, what? <laughs> I haven't read this in forever, so I really don't even remember what the storyline is exactly. So I do recall that he would always come back home to his wife and kids, and they're like the epitome of the super suburban family and after all the hell he's been through in the day he has you know in this scene he's having sex with his wife you know he greeted his kids when he first got them in they went to bed and then he's having this moment with his wife but he's still reflecting on all the crazy stuff he did that day it's just you know it's wild it's, 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 it's really wild like i say hard boy if you know frank miller's work this is what he does all his stuff is hardcore over the top like that same guy that brought you uh the Dark Knight, Batman, and a host of other amazing concepts. Look at this. All of the references to pop culture and mascots and icon, iconic logos and graphic design and always the Asian fusion. Amazing. You know what? I think we got time. Let's go through the other two. Why not, right? I can't hit you like that and leave you hanging. You want to see the whole thing. I know. I know you do. I know you do. I know. I know. First of all, let's spread that cover out. Let you see that. Love the wraparound covers. Okay. Let's go in. Again, that 1950s style. All the buildings, all the cars. This one had some of the coolest scenes for the cars in this traffic jam he gets caught up in. This is just, this, this whole thing right here, I swear, this needs to, this is long overdue for a movie. Long overdue for 1990. Come on, come on. We need this right now with the popularity of everything cyberpunk. Look at this. This is literally that, that one panel right there. That there, that gigantic. Oh my gosh, look at that car. Look at that bus thing, truck. What? What is that? Look, look at all the weapons on the top. Look at look how big it is compared to the other cars. Insane. It's so big, it's got graffiti on the side, like, you know, when it's parked somewhere. It's so like a police vehicle. You see police on the side. 
it just gets tagged up because it's so dang monstrous sitting somewhere in a store a lot i guess that's that's crazy that's just crazy y'all <laughs> oh my gosh this book amazing look at this all the junk that was in his car good gosh dude why are you eating like that <laughs> boom the epitome of glorious chaos you know, this is escapism at its best for the ultraviolet future. This is one of the most classic, classic, classic panels, both of these. I can remember when the book was coming out, they advertised a lot using this image. Wow. Oh, did you notice, just like how in Cyberpunk 2077 and other Cyberpunk concepts, you got vending machines where you can just go buy grenades, guns, and other, because, you know, you just never know when you need another one. It's, too much, too much, <laughs> too much. But that's the thing I love about Cyberpunk is, is telling you, hey, as crazy as all this is, it's beautiful in a comic book, it's beautiful in a movie, but do you really want to live this? I think not. So let, let's try and keep it here, you know? Let's just try to keep it here. So the world does not have to be this crazy a place. Again, this is definitely for adults only. Don't see the beautiful colors and invite your kids to look over your shoulder while you're looking at this. This is for grown folks. Good gosh. Whew. Dang. I forgot about this thing. Granny was just tearing folk up. Of course, she's some type of cyborg that's warned by the law. And that's why he's chasing her. You can see right here, she's like a Terminator. She's probably not even human. She might be all droid. She's out here just wiping folk out. <laughs> Dang. Oh my gosh. This book is so crazy. But the detail of Geoff's illustrations, his line work, his color, just the, the whole doggone thing. It's just, I think he colored these too. Let me see if he colored. Uh, okay, I don't see. Let me see, here we go. Oh, okay, the colorist was Claude Legris. Or Legree, if that's French, maybe you don't say Grease, Legree. Claude Legree, letterer John Workman, Geoff Darrell, the legend, and Frank Miller, y'all. Getting it in. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Wow. <laughs> the grocery store. Total madness. Okay, yeah, this is the one where they introduced this robot, or maybe that was in the first issue, too. Yeah, I remember that scene. Like I said, it's been a while since I looked through these. Believe it or not, that's the hero of the book. He's lost his skin. So he's like a robot too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, the last ultraviolet crazy issue of this cyber psycho fantasy. All you folks out there enjoying Edge Runners on Netflix, loving Cyberpunk 2077. We got plenty more related content. We, we definitely love the Cyberpunk genre. We get all into the depths of the, the metaphor in it, and that's why we enjoy it so much. So, and it's just it just has produced so many amazing projects and types of art. And it really speaks to technology fusion with the natural. And the unnatural. So, <laughs> just, just, just look at this. The whole thing is like in this junkyard with him talking to this robot until, boom, something got said and set it off. Wow. Pardon the sheen on the pages. We haven't perfected our lighting for when we do this, but hey, when was the last time you saw anything this cool? We're doing the best we can with what we got until we can get better, y'all. We'll get there. It's a process. But hey, we're doing the doggone thing. We're giving you content. If you like this content, if you enjoy it, if you love it, please like, please subscribe. Tell somebody else to enjoy it. Come through, check us out. We are OnyxCon, 501c3 nonprofit out of Atlanta, Georgia. Look at this scene. Good gosh. And we are... 
all about the arts, the popular arts, and cultural life enrichment, diversity, you know? So we're into many things. Sci-fi, fantasy, action, thriller, horror, outdoor recreation, fitness, mind, body, and soul. We bring it to you every time. This has been another flip through. Hope y'all enjoy. Joseph R. Will the third for Honest Con signing out.